Real stories, groundbreaking procedures, ultimate makeovers. This is plastic surgery before and after. Charles wants to redesign the appearance of his chest. He consults with Dr. Jeffrey Schaefer, a San Diego plastic surgeon specializing in the treatment of gynecomastia. Good morning. Hi. Mr. McWilliams? Charles. Jeff Schaefer. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. So, what brings you to the office today? Gynecomastia. Did you know that over 30% of the male population suffers from a condition called gynecomastia, which literally means female breasts? It's a condition that creates a lot of shame. However, the good news is it's treatable. The male breast develops an excess amount of breast tissue and fat. The surgeon reduces the breast via liposuction or surgery while trying to maintain the contour of the pectoralis major muscle. Charles McWilliams is already physically fit, which should aid his surgeon in achieving an optimum result. Okay, so this is our typical case that we see 99% of the time. Uh, if you could go ahead and tighten your pectoralis muscle. Okay, so this is the muscle there. This is the tissue that we want to get rid of. This area will be pumped up with a liter of fluid, and then this tissue will be broken down to a creamy sort of mashed potato consistency, and then removed with a power tool, a cannula. Charles McWilliams, I'm here for my surgery. The day arrives for Charles's gynecomastia procedure. See you again. So we're going to mark you. This is our area of concern. So we're using a number 11 blade. To begin, an incision is made in Charles' armpit. This is our only incision. So this is uh, like a sprinkler. Using the first of four cannula devices, a tumescent solution is injected. The solution will cause the breast to swell and spread out the tissues. And we can see that this is greatly enlarged in size. The tissue is less dense and easier to remove. With the fluid still in his breasts, a specialized cannula called the Blugerman is used to break up the breast tissue even more. And that is going to start morselizing or piecemealing the breast tissue to make it less firm and dense and to turn it into a much uh, softer consistency. Next, a third rotating cannula is used to remove the broken down breast tissue along with the tumescent fluid. You can see we're getting some nice creamy breast tissue out. I'm now switching to a hooded cannula. He refines the lower portion of Charles' breast. If there's a little bud of tissue there, you can grab it. Forceps are used to remove the remaining breast tissue. But this is the tissue that was underneath here. The procedure is finished on the left breast. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same procedure we just did on the other side. The operation is now complete on both breasts. Charles? Oh, okay, you're nice and awake. We got all the tissue out, so I think we'll both be pleased with the results. Charles McWilliams began to develop female appearing breasts as a teenager. I don't just wander around shirtless. I mean, I just never have. After suffering embarrassment for years, this self-conscious surfer turned to Dr. Jeffrey Schaefer to give his chest a more masculine appearance. <laughs> it's been five weeks in surgery and Charles is back surfing the waves. The results are unsettling because you're so used to seeing yourself a certain way. <laughs> And I saw myself in the mirror, oh my god, I have no chest anymore. It looks like I've never been to the gym in my life. But now that I'm getting used to it, I'm, I, I like it. It's really flattened out quite a lot. But Charles suffered a setback. He developed an infection on his left nipple. For the first week, I wore a compression vest to kind of hold the, the, um, the skin to its new shape. And it rubbed on this side, apparently, and got a staph infection. See, I'm fairly self-conscious of it, and I have to be kind of careful of it, too, and you don't want it rubbing on your shirt or anything, so I pretty much keep a bandage on it right now. Dr. Schaefer proposed that if the areola doesn't reform perfectly, that I go to uh, um, a tattoo artist and makeup artist that he uses, and they draw in and ink in a new areola for me. I'd say that's the only 
probably the only downer is that you got an infection in that, but I think the yeah. results look good. Yeah, it didn't really hurt either was kind of the neat part. Everybody is self-conscious about something or about many things. And for me, this was probably the, the biggest thing that I was self-conscious about and, and I fixed it. Be fine. I miss my pillow <laughs> when I lay my head on there.